Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at uh, many different commands inside Rhino 5. Let me first check the units. Make sure uh, you are working in millimeters. And the grid. Everything looks perfect. Now, let me insert a picture frame and on that one I am going to insert let me see right here the table for women's sizes so let me type 0 make sure you have ortho on and place it this is just a picture okay we need to uh, scale one to one in order to do that notice that I have the possibility to place a line that is 15 centimeters long there the reason I do this is because I can scale now the picture and I have the ruler right there so all I have to do is a scale to the from make sure you have the endpoint or snap on from this endpoint the second reference point will be right there and I will take this to the end of my line bingo now I have my picture a scale one to one let me lock the picture so it doesn't bother me while I'm working on my design let me delete the blue line alright now let me go back to picture frame this time let me insert oh let me insert that sandal that's a nice very simple model that I can use to trace okay now we can rotate it with the gumball make sure you have ortho off you can rotate it just a little bit there now we can bring it to the edge of my table and let me see if I can find is somewhere over here uh, let me check I'm not sure there I think you can change the transparency of that picture frame and that way I can see through it and it would be much easier now to uh, scale my sandal so here we go now you have to know the size of your sandal I'm gonna set it right there maybe to nine nine and a half that will be more than enough you can find that out if you print this uh, scale one to one you can step on it and find out the size now I can hide my ruler and lock my picture so now let me trace and don't forget before the day before you do this you cannot drink forget it you have to have very sharp 
you know, so that you can trace over this uh, sandal precisely. So I'm almost through. Few more points. Notice that I zoom in, very comfortable. There. So now that I have the uh, perimeter, let me go ahead and digitize the inside. This is where we are going to place just a little foam so that the sandal is very comfortable. Blend these two ends, corner, corner, perfect. Now that I have this, I can unlock my picture frame and hide it. I don't need it anymore. Notice that if you don't like something, you can turn on the control points and just edit things a little bit there. It doesn't hurt to fix few there, this one I can move it just a little bit outside so I have more space on the back. Perfect! Now let me join these two curves. One and the blend. Two. And let me offset and let me type a very low tolerance. This is not very uh, important so I don't need too many control points. So let me offset this inside, right there, perfect, and let me fix that corner, I can draw a line, and select all of them, and trim. So we can delete this little piece, delete the line, and blend very simple everything is in 2d don't forget to join we are almost there now create a planner surface in between those two all right go to perspective zoom extend let me close this one over here so we have more space and now let me move this just a little bit above the construction plane and one more time one planner surface right there on top perfect so notice that I see the thickness of my foam and the rest is quite simple. All we need to do is blend these two edges, make sure to lock, preview on, and make sure you add some there. We need to add few of these like adding cross sections it will fix the way Rhino makes the blend right here in the front maybe another one right there maybe on the back another one there you can add maybe six or seven as long as you see the shape really smooth so this is it. This is more or less what I needed. But how about the stitches? Oh, this is the best part. I'm going to offset the outside perimeter there with maybe another color, blue. and that will be the center of all my stitches. 
So let me bring my new sewing machine. I created this with Grasshopper just to make the stitches. This is so cool. First, I have a reference point, right? So I pick a point, I can move the point everywhere I want and this is where I get to design the stitch. So notice that I can make it longer, shorter, thicker. They are thinner, thicker. I can even um, do a mirror, rotate, rotate from one end or rotate from its center. It's so cool. It's like a real sewing machine. There, a mirror. So once you have that... Oh, you can have parallel. Three, four, five stitches parallel to this one. Okay? So let me... Let me just rotate it. Or leave it leave it parallel much much better let's go to the top zoom in select the path select the sandal and there you go okay I can even move them normal to the construction plane and change this the color the color of the stitch they are yellow white okay so i have the stitches let me add some more there you go isn't this cool so simple you can change your mind at any moment you can set it, oh, don't show me the stitches. I want to design a new one. So I go back to my original stitch. And let me just set it to one. Rotate it from its uh, center, 45 degrees, mirror. And apply. change the thickness just a little bit a little bit longer there so once I hit show me the stitches there isn't that beautiful I hope you like it oh let me change colors they are blue green you know brown white so let me bake the stitches join everything and render two or three photos for you so I hope you like my new machine is really cool and is very useful. Thank you.